we're going through how to create a multiple item button on PayPal. This is the Prince 8 educational series. And we're just gonna call it P8ES. We're gonna skip the price there and we're gonna add a drop down menu with the price option buttons. And we're gonna call this again Prince 8 Education Series. Option one is Prince, well, let's call it by the whole name, the Prince Who Made Me Queen. And it's $20. And the second option is Prince Eight and the Three Banks. That alone is also $20. And then, um, the last one is the Prince 8 combo, both books, and that is $30. Now, once you click on Done, you will see that those options will now be in the down arrow over here. So someone could choose what they wanted. Shipping. I suggest $5 is typically $2.60 for one book, $3.60 for two books. If you're going between the East Coast and the Midwest, if you're going all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, it could be a little bit more. And this is using media mail. And then you just want to create button. And we're waiting for the cache to populate because I got a really slow computer today or really slow network. I don't know which one it is. So we're waiting, waiting, waiting. And once it clears, uh, because I'm impatient, I'm going to click the button again, but that doesn't usually help. So we're waiting. Let's sing the Barney song. Why? Here we go. Now it brought us to the code. <laughs> Add the button code to your web page. This is the information you need. So you click on select code, right click. If you are using, um, what do you call this? Uh, Windows, it's a right click. If you're using Mac, then it's something else. And then uh, now you have your button code. For us, we are using MailerLite to create our landing page, which if you would like to find out more about how to use Mellow Light or how to get it at a discount, the link will be available in this little mini clip. But you just go to the forums and we'll go to the landing pages that we've created. Scroll down to the print who made me queen. We're gonna edit it for you here and it's really, really simple. Um, creating this landing page was click, 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 just drag and drop. Uh, now we're just building it up here. We're going to fill it in. It already has the pictures and the buttons and everything. Now this button here is an old button and it doesn't work. So we're going to go in and we're going to go, we're going to get rid of it first. So I'm just going to highlight it and delete it. But then I'm going to go into the source code place right here. I'm gonna go to the end, hit enter, and I'm gonna control V to add that code in there. We're gonna click on okay, and then it puts it back, and we're gonna click on save. And what you will see now is you have that drop down right now, so people could order for the book, they could order the copy today. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna change this and take the words off the button and uh, take that out because when you have a drop down, you can't just have a button. So order your copy and then I'll change today to below. And then they'll know that they can't click this button. We'll go ahead and save it. Done editing. 
And then just for grins, we always want to test out the feasibility of it. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and check it out, see if our link is working for our little landing page that we just created. And boom, 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 there you got it. You can buy any one or all or both of the books. And once you select it, you'll be able to click the buy now button and it'll take you to the PayPal checkout. Bada bing, bada boom, all good and everything is great. I hope this little mini video has helped. And if you need any additional support, reach out. Meanwhile, keep walking on water.